Hi everyone, Nathan here from JS Power Sports. Going to shoot a quick video today about the fuel system on a crash carbureted jet ski. And obviously, here's your tank that you should be mixing 40 to 1 with break in oil for the start and then a good synthetic after that, not a non race oil usually if you're not racing the machine. Go ahead and start by removing your fuel cap and looking down inside there and make sure that you can see where the two lines going through here, there's called pickup tubes. They should be going all the way down. There should be two of them going all the way down to the bottom of the tank to pick up the fuel. And you'll also see a third one that's smaller and that is the primer line here that goes all the way to the bottom to pick up fuel to help you start your engine. If you don't see all three lines going down into the, the tank down in there, it's a possibility that one of them has fallen off. And you can uh, unscrew these fittings here and pop these lines back up out of here, fish the one out of the bottom and reconnect it. And this is one of the pickup tubes to the carburetor with a filter in it. This is a second one here. You want to check these over and make sure that they don't have cracks and they're not sucking air down through the lines. We have a whole nother video on how to pressurize the fuel system that you can watch. Today I'm just going to go over actually the line routing itself. So these two are your inlet lines. This little guy right back here is your feed to your primer system. Then we have a return line, which is this one right here. And then this other, this last line goes to a Y here, Y splitter. And on that, down in here, we have this guy right here is your inlet valve. It's got a little arrow on it. It lets air into the tank as the fuel goes out. And this one here is your pressure relief valve. And this one lets air out of the tank that builds up over 4 PSI. And it's very important to have this on here. They did not start putting these on until midway through 20. If you have an older ski, definitely order these up off our website. Now, the inlet lines coming off here, they're going to be kind of hard to see as they come around here, but they're going to go into this uh, lowest fitting on the carburetor, right down here, this guy right here. That's going to be the, your inlet on both carburetors. The top fitting which is this guy right up here, this is going to be your return line. It's important to note that in the return line, there is a T. And inside that T, right here on this very, very edge that we're looking at, there, right in there, is a jet. And so both lines are forced to come down through this T and through this jet, which helps keep pressure inside the carbs. And then the remaining fuel goes on back into the tank here. On the other side over here, which is going to be harder to see, right here is your pulse line. And that gets a pulse from inside the engine. And basically it's, it's the piston going back and forth, creates a pulse, which comes up into this middle section here. And here's this other car, maybe you can see it better. Yeah, right here, middle section here. And your fuel pumps behind there. And as that pulse is back and forth, it pumps the fuel. And those are the main connections that you need to have there. Back in here, we're going to have our primer system. Your inlet line is going to come into this, this uh, angled line here if you have a plunger type primer or a push button type primer. And it's going to come back out of this uh, fitting here that goes straight off of it. And that's going to go to the pressure relief valve that's set at 6 psi for this one here. And then after that, it feeds over into a T and goes into both carburetors. And I do recommend this plunger type way more than I do the, the bulb type. The bulb type moves about a half inch of fuel per push. This thing here moves about six inches of fuel up that line. And so you can prime the carburetors and get them, get the ski started way better with a plunger type primer. And we sell just the plungers on the website. You don't need all the lines and fittings because you've already got them on your carbs. Uh, but that's the basic on how the system runs. Be sure to see our other videos on YouTube about priming the system. I think we did a whole video just on the plunger type primer. And uh, of course, all these parts and stuff are available on our site, jspowersports.com. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and we'll bring you some more videos.